Now before I showed you how to tie a, a pike fly on a, on a jig hook, uh, one of those soft worm hooks with the, the misshape in it. So I'm going to show you how to do another one, but this is not for fly casting. This is a, a weighted uh, plastic worm hook. As you can see it has a bent portion here. This is a 3.0 Mostad Ultra Point and this is a 12 gram weight already built into it and this will allow me to tie a pike fly for a guy that wants to fish it off a, a spinning rod so I'm going to put the hook in well, upside down but uh, because of the weight on this, this is the way that it's going to fish and I'm going to tie the entire fly on that little portion there so I'm going to use gel spun and attach it on there. And then I'm going to add a bit of super glue to that. Because there's going to be very little actual tying in on this light. So I'm going to tie this fly sort of in reverse. So I'm going to tie in the head first and for the head I'm going to use a bright cerise pink uh, fox. I'll stroke that out and take out a lot of the, the fluff on the underside of it. I'm going to cut off the bunch to make it nice and neat. I'm going to put it up there and then tie around it so it splays all the way around the shank of the hook. And I'm tying up to pretty tight behind the eye. And take it back to the rear of this. Now for the core of the body of the fly, I'm going to take a bit of uh, pearl crystal hair. I'm going to tie that in on its middle. A few turns and then fold it back. And then I'm going to take my time thread right up to the back there. Now I want to secure this all down so I'm going to take my super glue and run it along my tie thread and then I'm going to wrap that over the tie-in portion. While this lies very simple, I'm going to use Icelandic sheep. Natural hair. It's got good length. Probably about six inches or so. so I'm going to cut out a good bunch of that. Just right, a lot of that. And then I'm going to tie that in, allowing it to wrap all around the hook, put on a loose turn and then pull it tight. Now, if you want, you can trim off some of this. It depends how neat you want the fly to look, but it'll actually, if you left that, would create a, like a cone effect display out the hair. So, it's that trimmed down. I'm going to allow super glue to penetrate into the tie-in of that and a couple of turns back over it to compress it. Now basically we're going to reverse all of the materials. So I'm going to fold them back, the white portion first, a bit fiddly. You don't want to impale yourself on the hook. And then bring my 
and thread the front of that. I'm going to squeeze that down a little bit. And then I'm going to take my super glue again and just allow it to dab into the folded back butt sections of my Icelandic sheep here and then I'm just going to pull that tight and hold it for a second until it sets itself. Okay. If you want you can put in well it depends on much room you could put in another section of that if you wanted to bolt the fly up a bit. Or you could add a different hair if you want. Or you can add some sort of flash. So in this situation I'm going to put in a little bit of flash. I'll pull out a couple of strands of Mirage. Add them in. Fold them back over itself. here just to bulk this up a bit. I'm going to take a bunch of that. Cut it off. Allow it to go around the hook. Put on a loose wrap as before. Fold that back. I'm going to put on a bit of glue onto my thread. Pull that back. At this point, I don't really want the glue extend into my pink portion until I can get it splayed back. So I'm folding the pink section back on itself and then I'm going to get a the fly finished off tight in behind the eye. Super glue my thread. Fold all that back. Wrap in tight behind the eye and finish it off. for this one I think. Two eyes. Take some Eva Stick Serious Glue. Place a dab of that on the back of the eye. And turn the vice on its side or right round towards yourself. that in. On the 
can't see them. On this eye over here. Just have a look at it to see what position it's in and match it up on this side. weedless uh, plastic worm hook and that will allow someone to cast that off a light spinning gear and it should be pretty much weedless because I say the weight is here it's a single hook the pike takes it it collapses the materials because they're soft and it'll hook itself uh, but it should bounce along the bottom if you want to because of this weight underneath it. <laughs> 